Janice, this bill will replace our enlisted force with a profit-driven army. It's completely absurd. Is this true, Senator? Your bill would privatize the military? What Senator Whitehorse seems to be forgetting is that our enlisted forces just lost an aircraft carrier to terrorists. And that's not to mention all of the recent ambushes and unnecessary casualties. You see, war isn't what it used to be. The rules of engagement don't apply anymore. Time and time again, we've seen that private corporations are better and more adept at handling this kind of threat. To put it simply, if the military isn't able to take care of business, we need someone who is. I talked to Section 8 and he thinks someone is leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies. You gotta chill on the conspiracy theories, man. Well, he thinks it's coming from inside SSC. Must be the Illuminati. Abort, boys, abort. Make your way to the evac point now. A chopper's on the way. You've been reassigned to a new mission. This is a big one. We've found the constellation, 200 miles west of Manila Bay. The Philippine government thinks their navy can handle it, but the DOD thinks differently, which is why they've hired us. Your mission is to take control of the ship from the terrorist hijackers. You'll parachute onto the carrier. Philip Clyde will be with you. What the? Clyde? Hell no! We're not working with him anymore! Hey, Dalton says it's a three-man job. You don't have a choice. You guys should touch down near the rear of the carrier, then make your way up to the control tower. These terrorists are with Abu Sayyaf, one of the most powerful terror organizations in the world. We don't know what their plans are, but as long as you two do your job, we'll never have to find out. Everything clear? Yeah, we got it. We're on our way! Yeah. All right, I'll contact you as soon as we have more details. Over and out. Corpses back to Dalton. Look, we ain't any happier to be doing this with you than you are to be doing it with us. So let's just stay out of each other's hair and get this thing done. No problem, fucko. <laughs> fucko? Who says that? Hey, uh, we're on deck. We're uh, heading for the control uh, tower. Hold on. We can't wait any more than the terrorists get up in the air. Uh, there are four jets on the carrier runways near the blast doors. Disable the jet's ignition systems and you'll disable the runways. Copy that. We're on our way. Hey, good job, guys. Now you just need to get up to the bridge. Over and out. Rios to Clyde. We're heading towards the control tower. Please advise of your position. Over. I'll advise you to stay the hell away from me, if you know what's good for you. Hey, Alice, what's up with Clyde? He went below decks for some reason. Clyde reports directly to Dalton. Whatever he's doing is not your business or mine. If you need something from him, let me know, and I'll contact Dalton. Otherwise, you know your orders. Over and out. Shit. There's no way we're getting in here. We'll have to find another way up into the control room. Maybe there's a way in from below decks. Yeah, I'm no expert in aircraft carrier design, but I think you're probably right. Shoot! Hey guys, PMB doesn't want another PMC taking credit for picking up yet GPS, and Section 8 is gonna look at it remotely. Don't say anything until he tells us what's up. Hey, Elliot. You know, 
know how I thought someone was leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies? Well, Section 8 hacked into the drive we found, and he says it was Clyde. That drive is full of troop positions and transaction records with terrorists and enemies. You all right, sir? I'll be all right, but we got a real situation here. This ship's loaded up with stolen nuclear warheads. They're controlling the ship, and they've booby-trapped the engine room. Try and get in there, and she'll blow quicker than a tie hooker. And we're on a collision course for downtown Manila. You've got to be shitting me. I'm a Navy captain. Bullshitting ain't in my job description. Now listen. The Navy SEALs are on their way, but we can't wait. I need you to help me bring this ship to the bottom before she reaches Manila. Of course. We'll do it. Good. Now take the elevators down to Hangar B. Pass through that hangar to Hangar C. I'll give you further instructions over the radio. And, uh, good luck. Seems like today, luck just ain't in our job description. What the hell is going on? Why did you leave the captain on the bridge? He was hurt. Over. This thing's turned into a real nightmare. The captain says there's nuclear weapons on board and we can't control the engine. We gotta help him bring the ship down before we reach Manila. What? What are you gonna do? We're working with the captain. We'll take care of it. Then we'll head back to the bridge and get him out of here. Over. So much for the Navy SEALs saving the day. Shit, bro! That's fucking Pedro! Clyde did this. He killed Pedro? And he killed Eisenhower. Eisenhower died in Iraq. You saw him die. Clyde leaked those troop positions. He's responsible for what happened to Eisenhower. Pedro, man! Eisenhower! We were the only ones left from our Ranger squad. I can't believe it! Eric, cowboy contractor. Where the hell are you? This ain't exactly a pleasure cruise. Over. We just entered Hangar B. Over. Well, hurry the hell up. I don't know. 